serious and take my robe off. <laughs> For those of you that know me, I live in my robe. It's one of my favorite things about being a coach is life in a robe and, and pajamas. And we have our special guest. This is Tucker. Puppy Tucker. He's gonna be hopping up. Oh, hello. Hopping up often to say hello because he kind of is obsessed with us. So you guys, um, thank you for watching this video and tuning in with us to learn about how this experience as a coach has totally transformed our lives. Um, we're going to kind of tell you our story because I think that is the best way to hear, you know, how it's impacted us because it's truly impacted every aspect of our life. Um, so let me take you back actually five years ago this spring crazy. Um, I was, was March. Yeah, yeah, it was. I was a mom to my daughters were like two and four and a half at the time. And I taught group fitness classes and I was at the dance studio and I heard this woman talking about this new program, workout program that was coming out at home. And I totally eavesdropped. I was like looking over her shoulder and jotted down the name of the program and went home and I Googled it and I watched the promo video probably 60 times. <laughs> and I told my husband I wanted to do this at work at home workout program and he literally laughed at me and told me I was never going to do it. And when someone says that to me, that's like a trigger, like put the pedal to the metal, like I'm doing it. So I ordered the program. Um, I told this woman who turned out to be a coach. I didn't know that, that I was not interested in Shakeology at all, that I had my own protein shake that I was drinking and I just wanted the workout. So it came with these containers and um, this program and I like told Liz, um, who's my best friend, that I was gonna do this and I was like, do you wanna do it with me? And she was like, no, no, no. I was like, okay, well, that's not a big deal. That's fine, I'm still gonna do it. And there was no group to be a part of or anything like that. It was, it's literally just, I got this package in the mail. I started doing the programs. I, he's pushing. Sorry, you guys, that's a boring video. He's We're on a wobbly table, a little tougher man who keeps pushing it. It's all good. So I got this package in the mail and I looked at it and I saw before and after pictures and I saw these containers and I was like, you know what? I'm going to go into this and do an experiment and I'm going to see what happens if I follow this plan for 21 days. Can you guess what program I was doing? It was a 21 day fix. And so I followed it to a T for 21 days. So particular that even at a family wedding, I wouldn't have a sip of champagne. Um, everybody thought I was pregnant, which I wasn't. I was just doing the 21 day fix and very committed. And I did my first round and I took after pictures and I was like, holy cow, this really works. So I did another round. And after about, I believe it was 60 days in, I remember Liz and I were walking, we were shopping and I was like, hey, by the way, mm -hmm. check out my before and after pictures from this program I've been doing. And she looked at them and she was like, oh, okay, sign me up. I'll, I'll do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Yeah. And Liz is going to talk about why she said no um, when she starts to tell her story. So anyways, Liz bought the, the program and she started doing it. And um, back then we had DVDs and she started getting really great results. And so then I saw this woman who was a mutual, or an acquaintance. I really didn't know her. I saw her posting on social media about this event she was at in Las Vegas um, with other women and it was a business trip. And then I started seeing her post about something about a group she was running. And so I sent her my before and after pictures. And I said, hey, I see this group you're running. Here's where I'm at. I wanna get even more toned. What program do you think I should do? And her response back to me was, you should be a coach. And I said, what does that mean? Because literally I had no idea. I was just a customer. We of had this. nobody helping us. Yeah. We were just customers um, of this thing called Beachbody. So she sent me a little recorded call. We didn't do video back then. It was like the, the <laughs> olden days. It was like the medieval times. It was a recorded <laughs> audio call, phone call. And I listened to it and something about it 
it would like, I felt it in my heart that I was destined to do this, but you guys, I was so scared, so scared. And I probably listened to that call three times, talked to my husband about it, talked to my sister-in-law about it. There were so many fears that I had that we're going to touch on, um, that hold it, held me back for about two weeks. But in my heart of hearts, I knew that this was something I was meant to do. And I knew that I was already telling people what I was doing and showing my results and they were wanting to start. So I knew that I could impact more lives um, if I went on this journey. And so I said, yes. And I started, and I started this group and Liz was in the group. And from there, the engagement, it, it's kind of naturally grown. And so that's how I became a coach. Um, Liz, do you want to talk yeah. about then in that group and yeah. your experience? So I love the beginning part of my story because I was a no girl. I did a post a couple weeks ago um, on my Instagram talking all about how I used to be a no girl. That was like the first thing that I said to court when she asked me to try the 21 day fix with her. I was like, nope. I'm a gym girl. I love the gym and I don't need anybody telling me what to eat. And so for the two months that she went on her transformation, I continued to go to the gym and get zero results because I didn't have any help with nutrition and I didn't have any accountability or support of a group, which we're going to talk about. And then that day, I remember it vividly. She showed me her before and after pictures. I was like, sign me up. That was the first words that came out of my mouth was sign me up. Uh, something in me was just like ready for a change. And so we went on this journey together. And then I remember the next part vividly, she said, she was like two weeks into her coaching journey. And she called me and she was like, Liz, I feel like this might be the thing that you've been looking for. That thing that's been missing in your life. And guess what I said to her? No, thanks. Because I didn't understand it. I didn't have a video to watch like this, but I will tell you, I think I slept on it, thought about it for like 24 hours. Yeah. And it was something that I could not get out of my heart or my head. Although I didn't have a ton of information, I didn't have the information that you guys are getting today. Uh, I was in such a difficult spot in my life and we're gonna touch on our stories and like where we were at before we decided to become coaches. So I might as well just tell you guys right now, my husband and I had been struggling with our infertility journey for six years. And so we were like right in the thick of it. And I was in such a bad spot mentally and emotionally. And I was working for somebody else, not happy, not excited to get up in the morning. Um, just felt lost and felt like I couldn't figure out what my purpose was. And the coaching opportunity was presented and something just in my gut, I'm a huge fan of listening to your gut, was like, you need to try this. This is basically risk-free. If you don't like it, you can stop. Um, I didn't have to invest thousands of dollars like most other businesses. And so I talked it over with my husband and ultimately made the decision like, I'm just gonna try this. Like, I don't really know what it is. I don't know what it's gonna be. I don't know what it's gonna turn into. And here we are. Four and a half years later, after having said yes and taking uh, what I think is a small chance at something that yields amazing results. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I remember Liz calling you. We talk on the phone a lot during the day. Ten times. And I remember calling her probably like a week in, two weeks into me being a coach and running this accountability group. And I, she was like, she said hello. And I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I just felt like I was on cloud nine. And she was like, what's going on with you? And I said, I don't know. I was like, this is so amazing. I said, I'm like, I shared my story and it inspired all of these women to start with me. And I have this group where I see that every single day, these women are showing up to better themselves, um, eating healthier. They're losing weight. I see their, their confidence is improving. Their relationships with their husbands are getting better. You know, every, they're being better moms because they're filling their cup first or wives or friends. I said, I just can't believe that my decision to start something has impacted so many lives. And I was on cloud nine and I can tell you guys, you don't, you won't understand it until you can experience it. And you can ask any coach out there. They will tell you the exact same thing that there's nothing like that feeling. And I think one of the things that drove me was that after going through our experience, experience of the 21 day fix. We had done it for like three months. I remember like my one big driving factor was that if I could help 
one woman feel the way that I had felt after my journey with this program, with the groups, with the nutrition, then that's all that mattered to me. And it's still sort of like my mission to this day to continue to pay that forward and help other women realize what's possible with health, fitness, and business. Yeah. And I think what I want to touch on next, Liz, is kind of like where we were before we started this. Because what you see now on our social media presence, or maybe the coach that sent this video to you, um, is not where we were before we were coaches. Um, and for me, I and like was- maybe the things that almost held us back. Yeah, from yeah, starting. yeah, yes. definitely. Um, I, first of all, didn't know what Instagram was, no idea. Had a Facebook account, reluctantly signed up for it. I think when my daughter was around two, someone was like, you have to do this, my oldest one. Um, never, ever, ever posted pictures of myself. You can go back and search. If you don't want to, it'll take you <laughs> way too long. But images, the only thing I ever posted was pictures of my daughter. I had one daughter at that time. Um, and then that was it. I never showed pictures of myself ever because I was so insecure in my self and my, you know, like just role. And I was so caught up in this role as a mother and giving everything to my kids and my family and my home and I wasn't filling my cup. So, I saw the neighbor bringing in the trash can. That's what happens when they bring in the trash can around here. Um, and so the thought of having to share my story scared on social media scared the crap out of me. Um, but I will tell you I knew that that was the thing that would, in, me sharing is what would inspire people to start with me. So I knew I had to do it. And I knew, I, I think very often, the things that scare the you know what out of you are the things, things that you need to yes, do. Yes, you have to do them. Um, it's what pushes you out. You know, starting this coaching journey just kind of grew my, opened my mind to how many things that I was holding back on in my life and world um, and now I've done tons of stuff that scares the crap out of me. Um, but so that, like, I had no following. I had maybe 172 Facebook friends. Those were people that I truly thought I was friends with. If you friend requested me back then, and I hadn't had a conversation with you at some point in my life, or um, truly thought there was someone, like, I would want to sit down and have coffee with, I did not accept your friend request. I had a very private life. Um, so knowing that you can start there and, and grow it into something else and learn throughout that process, um, I think if that's something that's holding you back, sharing your journey. Um, I just want to piggyback off of that. Um, I was very much the same as Courtney when I first started. You guys can scroll back through. Um, super, super private person. I did not have a, any ounce of understanding for how you could use social media to connect with others, to share your story, and to grow your business at the same time. So that was a very, very big hang up for me. And it's a very big fear that we get every day from people that we're talking to. And so you have to understand, like, we started in the exact same spot. I had 200 friends on Facebook. I remember it vividly. I posted maybe once a month. I had an Instagram account with like four pictures on it. If you scroll all the way bottom to my Instagram account, you can see those first posts. And that was a huge, huge hurdle for me to get over. So it's something that we completely understand when people are coming in and getting started. Like it's something that you learn. It's something that you grow into. It's something that we have lots of trainings about to help you with, but we're proof that it's something you can overcome and grow through and become even stronger and more confident um, and just grow yourself personally, I think, through the journey yeah. of sharing. And knowing that you have a purpose for what you're doing and your story will touch other people. I always said, like, I was not going to allow other people's opinions of me hold me back from reaching my fullest potential in life. And so if you kind of attack it with that mindset and deep down at the end of the day, in our heart of hearts, we know what we're doing is amazing and changing lives every day is worth pushing through those fears. Yeah. And, and those fears, honestly, never completely go away. It's always something that you are overcoming, working on yeah. and overcoming. And that's where this personal growth and personal development and, mm -hmm. and, 
there's the confidence that comes through this whole process can really impact your life. hundred um, percent. Okay. What else? Let's what talk I about what we actually do as coaches. Cause I feel yeah. like there's some misconceptions and people don't really understand what we do. Um, so I'm gonna let you kind of start and I'll fill in. Yeah. So, I mean, the main thing that we do is show up to better our own self every single day um, with our health and fitness, with our mindset, um, and then sharing that. Um, and that kind of rolls over into these accountability groups or fit clubs or challenge groups that I'm sure you've heard us talking about. Um, it is something that I have run for four and a half years now. Never every missed month, one. Same thing with Liz. It's just a part of my life. I show up in there every day. I do my workout. We get a sweaty selfie. Um, drink my superfood shake, which I'm enjoying right now. Um, engage in the group. Provide accountability, support, um, and guidance. And really, truly, that is your one-on-one -on -one spot that you are coaching your clients. Now, as I say that, I think I can already oh, hear freak out. the red flags going right off in your head. So, Liz, <laughs> yes. talk about that. Don't freak out about that. We have, first of all, the most amazing set of training videos that we've put together for all of our new coaches that shows you how to use your online office, how to share your story on social media, how to run what we call a challenge group or a fit club. You will never um, go without information or knowledge or have your questions answered. I think that's a big fear when people come in, they're like, I, what's a challenge group? How am I gonna run it? Well, first of all, you're gonna start your own journey like Courtney said, and then second, you're gonna be added to our current fit club or challenge group so you can see what it's like. So you can see the community that has been built in these groups. And what I think um, is one of the most important aspects of this is that missing link of community and accountability. And we have lots of templates for you to use so you don't have to be coming up with your own content. A lot of people worry about that. Don't stress about that. Yeah. We literally have everything you need wrapped yes. in a little package for you. Um, it's just taking you being willing to say yes yeah. and, and, and move forward with that. And, and I think let's touch on, we have something called the four vital behaviors that are a part of the coaching journey. Um, let's see if we can actually recall them. I know you just got me all nervous, uh -huh. Liz. I was like, I know three of them. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> we know. The number one is be a product of the product. Right. Which we, we talked about, you know, when you, I always have said to people and new clients, especially new coaches. 100% of my being, I can tell you that if you follow this program and this meal plan and the calendar, you will get results. Yes. Like mm -hmm. it's impossible. I've never once had somebody that was like all in and didn't get results. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they go hand in hand. So committing to a program and working with your coach to figure out which, what is the best program for you, getting results, um, and then starting to share that, um, share your journey of what you're doing being a product product. She just named two more vital behaviors and she didn't even know she was doing it because it's so ingrained. Oh, so, yeah. So getting people results oh, and sharing and connecting. See? <laughs> that is it. So good. So good. It's just yeah. ingrained. It's, it's the vital behaviors that when you're doing them on a daily, weekly basis, will only yield results for yourself and for your business. And so it's just like sort of part of our thing. And the very last one, the fourth Personal one. development. Number yes, one, personal book. number one, most important, which I got to tell you, my husband has read personal development books forever. And he used to try to get me to read, I don't read that stuff. But <laughs> I read one and I was like, wow, this really makes sense. It kind of tells me if I do these small daily actions every day, it'll yield big results down the road. And then I applied that to my life. And now four and a half years later, have a thriving business. I mean, what business out there is having you better your mindset? Um, as a part of like your growth and daily development, like as your business yes. practices, it's something that's been huge, yes. huge for me. And my favorite quote is if you are gro growth equals happiness. Mm -hmm. So as long, long, you know, think about in your life, maybe where you feel like unhappy or stagnant, um, you know, nothing's changing, nothing's positive. That's when you start feeling kind of lost. And when Place you start to see yeah. the growth and, you know, you're showing up to your health and your fitness and your bettering your mind, everything is positive. And so I think that's why so often I hear people say, coaches always look so happy. Because we are, we're not perfect. No. Our lives are not perfect. We no. have daily stuff that goes on just like everybody else. But I think the tools that we've learned yeah. from the personal 
development have allowed us who I am now. I am a completely different person. As cliche as that sounds, I say to everybody that I talk to about coaching, this has changed every aspect of my life inside more than outside, which I think is probably more important and has shown me like exactly what I'm capable of is so much more than I could ever have imagined before becoming a coach. Agreed. 100%. Yeah. And if you would have told me five and a half years ago that I would be an online fitness health influencer sharing my life on social media, I would have laughed you out of the room because I never saw it. But the universe gives you exactly what you need in your life. And 100% believe that. Yeah, here we are. And I would say the people too have been such a transformation in my life. I mean, the amount, your, your energy and what you put out attracts those sort of people to you and we our team mm. has just it's like our family yeah I mean, and these we, people, I mean that to like the deepest part of our being like it's our community it's our family yeah um we pride ourselves on the community aspect of our team and it's super important part of this journey yeah and whether you are local to the state where your coach lives or you are across the united states or in the united kingdom or canada yeah. there's always that sense of community um, because we do these webinars, these live <laughs> webinars. So it's like we're in the same room hanging out. Um, and honestly, you get a lot of each other, you know, yeah. we're, we're together a lot. So the connection in the community is definitely. There. I think let's also touch on what you do need to be or have um, to become a coach and what you don't need to be to become a coach. Um, I think a huge misconception for people coming in is that you have to be something to be a successful coach. And we're here to dispel that myth, mm -hmm. that fear, that limiting belief. You don't need to be anybody except for you to be a successful coach, to share your authentic journey. You don't have to have six pack abs. You don't have to be at your perfect weight. You don't have to know everything about social media. You don't have to be a personal trainer. Am I missing anything? No. You don't have to be anything but you. Which and is on best. and willing to commit to being on a journey. So I would say that's what yeah. you do need to be is a desire ha, or have is a desire to grow, mm -hmm. a desire to grow yourself inside and out and be willing to share that with others so that they can see what's possible. Mm -hmm. Yep. So you don't got to be anything but you. That's true. Okay. And so people will be attracted to you just the way you are. So for, what happens if somebody's like, okay, I'm ready. I want to like, what's the first steps? We kind of already touched on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, the, the beautiful thing is to start as a coach, your only investment is your product that you're going to use your workout access to those workouts for a year and your choice of products. We have amazing products. Um, and there's, multiple different routes you can yep. can mm -hmm. go with that. Um, that is something you definitely want to talk about with the coach that invited you to watch this video. Um, those packages range anywhere from $160 to, let's just say $250, <laughs> like that's it. And that's going to give you a year access to the workouts, um, 30 days of the superfood shake like this, or if you want to go the performance line route or both. I have to say, you guys, it kind of looks like puke. Yeah, I know. I have spinach in my. I knew it. I was going to say she was spinach in there. Mm -hmm. It's like seven salads, 70 so superfoods, and it like so tastes like dessert. Will you just touch on that really quick? Because we both uh -huh. said no yes. to trying that in the beginning because we're mm -hmm. super picky about our food, both of us. And we were like, we don't need that. We're not trying that. Well, mm -hmm. I assumed, <laughs> I assumed that Shakeology was full of crap because a lot of it was a, a product being sold by a direct sales company. And I just assumed, and I thought it was being sold as drink this shake and you're going to get amazing results. And I don't believe that it's a total package. We need to eat healthy exercise. This I always say is like the icing on the cake that gives you every like supplement or supplement and vitamin and probiotic and prebiotic and all those things that you need extra to combat our life, right? In this day and age. Um, and so I just assumed it was loaded with synthetic garbage. And so when I was in that process of listening to the call and um, deciding about coaching, my biggest holdup was really not even the fear of the social media stuff, but it was the fear of 
telling someone they needed to buy something that I didn't believe in. And so I spent a lot of time researching the ingredients. My husband is a doctor and um, nutrition like expert and Obsessed. I was like crazy. crazy. And so I gave him the nutrition label and I was like, I need you to figure this out. Like, is this good? And he was blown away at the ingredient list and the quality and was like, I think it was I, so silly. I think the one thing he said, he was like, well, it has blueberries in it and they're not organic. <laughs> That's all he could come <laughs> up with. So I was okay with that, right? Because there's like 50 things on the ingredient list and you know, yeah. that's okay. Um, other than that, that was it. And so as soon as he told me that, I was all in. And then I got my first bag with my challenge pack when I was a new coach and I was like, oh my oh gosh, God. why haven't I been drinking this? That's the number so one thing good. my challengers say to me yes. is that I, I can't believe how amazing this tastes and why didn't I drink this sooner? Yes. Everyone. That's how I felt. I remember drinking my first one and being like, dang, yeah. this is good. What are we doing? And I, I feed it to my kids. My husband has it daily. So I believe in it so much so that I am totally comfortable. Um, but I know that that can be a big holdup for people. And it's not a magic shake. If you just drink your Shakeology and don't do these other things, mm -hmm. you might lose a couple pounds if, let's say, you're replacing that with a bagel or um, <laughs> McDonald's breakfast oh, yeah. drive through But it is not going to change your life overall. It's a combo of everything. Yes. So that goes back to being like the first step of your journey. And we've said this before. Um, uh, we think and we believe that it's truly important for all of our coaches to fall in love with every aspect of this. So with the fitness, with the nutrition, with the challenge groups, because like with most things in life, if you love it, it's super easy to share about it. Like I'm obsessive about my clean skincare. I don't get any kickbacks. I don't get discounts for anybody, but you better believe I love it so much that I'm going to share it with everyone. So I think it's the same yeah. with this journey and with coaching and with all the aspects of it, you got to love it to be able to truly share it with mm -hmm. others. Yeah. And so that's where you start is you start your process of becoming a product of the product and falling in love with all aspects of this. Like your investment in this, um, is going to take you so yeah. far. Like it's just, I th think a, such a small investment for how big of an impact it's going to have on your life and other people's lives that you're changing. Yes. And like we kind of talked about with there's 30 days, you can try it for 30 days. If you oh. are <laughs> not happy with it, you're not 30 days love. in and you're like, I don't like that shake. And I didn't like the workouts. Never happens. Um, and these girls, like, they're not my people. I don't want to be friends with them or go on trips with them. Um, that's okay. Like, no big deal. Return it 30 days. You can get all of your money back. So truly there's, you have nothing to lose. Nothing. Um, and then Liz, I think we should talk about too, kind of how you can come into this business where I did. And I was, I saw an opportunity, um, to be able to create a full-time income yes. with it. And I saw an opportunity to be able to, um, I thought long-term, I gave myself a two-year window that I wanted to create the income that I made before having kids when I was in corporate America. So I could stay home once my kids went to school full time, both of them. And so you can come in with visions of creating a six figure business, or you can come in as a coach just to get a discount on your products that you order every single month. Or you could just do hobby side job. Yes. Um, we have a lot of girls on our team and in this community who love their jobs and don't want to quit, but love these programs and this fitness so much that they wanted to start a little side gig for some extra money and to be able to pay it forward. So there are varying ranges of how you can run this business. And I think that's the amazing thing is you can do whatever you want with it. And for Courtney and I, it is both of our full-time jobs. Uh, I didn't know that that was possible for me. And I quit my other job a year into coaching. And this has been my full-time gig since then and has been the biggest blessing yeah. in my life yeah. ever. Yeah. And for me, I reached my income goal. I set within a year and it's grown since then. And it's given me opportunities to take my family on vacations and pay off debt and remodel our house and be able to do uh, my favorite thing I do every year is a girl's trip with my daughters on spring break. And we go to Disney and we do it all. Um, and without that, those little perks and extras without this business, those little perks and extras just wouldn't be possible for us. So I 
for me, creating memories and experiences is huge. And next month, we are going on a cruise that we earned as a coach. For and free, for, for helping people. Yeah. And I'm taking my entire family and my kids are getting to go. And we got a big so suite. <laughs> and my kids <laughs> get, a big suite. they're so excited. My kids get to go on a cruise for the first time in the Caribbean. And they know that it's because of mommy's hard work. And there's honestly nothing, like it, I start to get emotional thinking about it. There's nothing like that feeling. Um, or the feeling of paying off debt. So for yes. me, it was really bad credit card debt, or you might have student loans. And I never felt like I was fully reaching my potential of contributing to my family. It's just the tall blonde, and I, most of you know who that is, it's my husband, Steve. And I just was not reaching my potential. And this has allowed us to be debt free, to take my husband on trips, to pay car payments and pay bills around the house. So this is like actual living money um, that's allowing us to live to our fullest potential and not have have to live paycheck to paycheck. Yeah. It's pretty transformational. So did we touch on everything? I think. Sign up. If you have a question, yeah. we're open books. Obviously you can ask us anything. Um, yeah. When you sign up, you're going to talk to the coach that sent you this video, us or somebody else and figure out what is the actual best package to start your journey on. Yeah. Like Courtney talked about, they range in price. Where do you start? You start becoming a product of the product. And then we teach you how to share and how to grow and how to build your own business. Yeah. And honestly, I, maybe we should do what, um, I've been kind of talked about it at the end of the national wake up calls, how they're like, how has beach body, um, um changed your life, Liz? Well, Courtney, <laughs> in every single way possible, I'm not going to cry. I swear to you guys, I am a completely different person. I've learned that I am smart enough to have my own business, that relationships with women can feel good. Huge thing for me. Um, that I can earn an income from home, from a cruise ship, from anywhere in the world, and that this actually is real. And I've never been more sure about something in my whole entire life, Courtney. Yes, what's, ask me the question, Liz. Courtney, how has Beachbody changed your life? <laughs> I mean, we've already touched on all of it, but truly, truly impacted everything. I think financial is amazing. I think the trips are amazing, but for me, showing my daughters that mommy can create something on her own, that she has an impact on other people's lives daily, helping them get healthy and showing them what's possible. Um, that is like, there's nothing that can match that. So why not you? Yeah. I always say, why not you? And think about if you say yes today, where could you be in a year? Like, and I love this. I just want to say this one last thing. Like if you could work super hard, cause this business is simple. It's not always easy. This is not a get rich quick scheme. We've worked. And if you could work for two to four years, work your little booty off to see your dreams come true, to work from home, to have this be a life changing thing for you and your family, would that hard work be worth it? And here we are four and a half years later. And I think we both know the answer to that. Yes. yes. But I got to tell you guys, it's never felt like work. See, about last night I was getting on a call with a brand new we love what you do at 8 15 last night and there was no burden. I was excited and I got off the call and I thought if this was a regular job, a nine to five, and I had to have a business meeting at 8.15 at night after my kids went to bed, I probably would not be excited about it. Um, be yeah, I would not be happy. Um, but it's never felt like work. It's never felt like a chore. It's always felt really, really good. Okay, guys. So, I think on that's that note, it. we went way over. We had a goal of like 30 minutes. How long are we? Um, maybe we're right at I 30. Think we're I don't know, but I feel like you might need to stick around because we have some fun things to show you. Some little bloopers. Some bloopers, you know, us being ourselves because what you see is what you get. Yes. This is us. Pajama loving, dog loving, uh, workout clothes, Nike all day wearing, long, every day. <laughs> this is us. Yep. So. Love Thanks you. for watching, Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. You want him? <laughs> he looks like so well big. Done. And he's not even that big. <laughs>
Welcome. Well, I mean, this is true part of our I life if you join our team. Okay. Do you want to lay down now or what do you want to do with your life? Okay, down. Lay down. 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 He's like, I'm going to come over to mom. Okay. You got to sit, buddy. You got to sit. Can you doodle? Okay. All right. Let's start this. Let's get this show on. Oh, you're already recording. Oh, I've been recording. <laughs> I had no idea. There. Oh. There. Then we it's get a true glimpse into what we're seeing. Liz has a million pop-ups on her screen right now. Hold on. <laughs> I'm clean. Uh, I feel like our bloopers are going to be so good. Oh, I feel like that just made it worse. Oh, shit. <laughs> I did oh clean things with my spit. <laughs> Oh, okay. Tucker. Chucker. Better? I think so. Hey. Welcome. Welcome. Join to us. our pajama party. Join us. <laughs> okay, should I take the real box now? <laughs> <laughs>